All right. This is Parker Office Hours. It's August 29th, 2023. This is our 9 a.m. UTC session. Um, if you are not familiar, we alternate every two weeks between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Um, UTC. So uh, today we have a couple of topics to talk about. Uh, first off is Manoj with um, the UI redesign that has just landed. Take it away. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I, I hope you guys can uh, see the screen. Uh, so, uh, like over the over the last month, like uh, we're uh, uh, mainly working on two uh, improvements to the UI. Uh, one is. Uh, uh, some uh, rede redesigning that we did to uh, like improve the uh, aesthetics of uh, Parka UI in, in general, like uh, making it more accessible and also like uh, visually pleasing. So that's one. And and the second, uh, we have been experimenting with a um, with a different uh, way of um, showing the metadata for the graph nodes. Uh, so basically, like instead of a hover bubble, uh, we have a dog uh, panel that will uh, that will show the Meta info. So these are the two things that uh, uh, we are experimenting, and and the first one uh, I'll, I'll just show a quick demo of how the redesign uh, looks. So so now uh, the, the after the redesigning the, the the query selector has labels and also like an improved drop down with icons and uh, and and yeah and and the and the metrics graph like uh, it, it now has a grid indicating the uh, timelines and also uh, the, uh, the the y-axis uh, uh, metrics bar. So we have that, and and for the yeah, and for the plane graph section, uh, we we've improved all the icons to uh, to have the name uh, on an icon so that like it's, it's clearly visible on on first four. Like uh, also we were having the options like thrown around in a lot of places we regroup them and not add them uh, for uh, for better usability um yeah that's uh, that's i also like we brought back the preferences from the neighbor to the uh, visualization section since it's uh, it makes more sense uh, to be within this section since it controls mainly uh, everything within this section so um yeah that's something we did as well um yeah, that's mostly uh, with the uh, with the redesign, and uh, and this experimental change to uh, to have a dark tooltip. It's still uh, in the PR stage, and uh, and we are still uh, having some discussions on on how to uh, make it more polished uh, for usability. Uh, so yeah, you can uh, take a look at the at the PR preview and let us know if you have any feedbacks. Um, so yeah, instead of uh, a hovering uh, bubble that like tracks the cursor, we now have a fixed uh, panel that uh, stays at the bottom of the screen and and shows the info as you as you hover over the nodes in the graph. Um, yeah, it still has all the functionalities like copying around with a the click and and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's mostly with it. Like this right now only works with the the arrow flame graph. If you're testing it, you need to enable the arrow flame graphs uh, preference as well. Yeah, thank you. Very cool. Curious what people think about the docked um, bubble. Um, I keep going back and forth about it in my head uh, myself. Maybe it, maybe it's one of those things that just should just be a uh preference the way that it's implemented now maybe some people prefer one way and some people prefer it the other way um yeah super cool love all these changes um any questions comments on ui redesign all right then uh manaj already uh slightly touched on it because it's a feature that needs to be enabled in order to view the feature that um he just demoed um so we've been working hard to basically make everything in parka be based on the arrow in memory format so that um when we've 
query data from ProstDB, the database that we use to store, store the uh, profiling data, um, which returns uh, data in the arrow format. We then perform symbolization um, in the same format. We uh, And then we ultimately also render the representation that the API returns um, to the front end using the arrow um, in memory format as well. Um, so the plan graph that Manoj just uh, showed you is actually already using this. Um, and last week, a um, table Im implementation for this landed as well. And so we're super close to being able to basically serve all of our APIs using the arrow format. That has This has various um, kind of advantages, one being performance. Arrow um, is basically made in, in order to um, build high performance data pipelines. Um, and so naturally that's much more performant, uh, but it actually also has some other nice kind of reliability aspects where we can now limit the amount of memory, for example, that's being used in a query to prevent, let's say, um, the whole server from crashing um, with like an out of memory error. Um, and rather we just say, okay, sorry, this query try to use more than four gigabytes of memory. That's how much you allocate it um, to, to be, for it to be allowed to be used. Um, so we rather just aborted the query rather than crashing the server. So a couple of super nice um, improvements here. And we're just about to start making the arrow implementations the default in the APIs. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it on the on the server side. Um, we haven't actually done a release in a couple of weeks, so uh, maybe even a couple of months. I think it's been two months or so since we've done our last release. So um, I think it's probably time that we um, wrap things up and get a release out there. That's it for the server. Um, and we have a bunch of really, really exciting stuff uh, happening in the agent as well. And Sumera is going to be telling us about that. Hello. Um, good local time zone and good morning uh wherever you are and uh yeah we like frederick said we have some really nice changes um in the agent we have been working on for um a few months actually right now uh and uh, uh it's so we're and we're expecting uh most of it to get merged this week so we're really excited about this uh uh, first um, is uh, they're largely based around extending uh, language and architecture support. So the first is like Ruby and Python support. We already have a work in progress PR or initial draft for Ruby. And um, uh, the first iteration is going in now. And uh, Kema has been working very hard on Python support. And uh, however, some of these changes are based uh, on a bit of the Ruby PR. So, uh, and it would make integrating that easier once the Ruby PR is merged. So uh, we should see that uh, this week as well. Um, I have been working on uh, ARM64 support. So far, we only support uh, frame pointer unwinding for ARM64, but uh, I'm working on unwinding with Dwarf, uh, uh, the Dwarf unwinder also. And uh, the I already have a PR open for uh, changes on user space side. So we are generating uh, unwind tables. Uh, once that's uh, done, uh, there will be a follow-up PR to change things on the BPF uh, side as well. And we should finally see some icicle graphs then. And uh, apart from this, I think most of us have been focused on uh, you know, uh, small changes here and there to uh, that around things we came across uh, while testing all the language support, like uh, Javier's, uh, Javier has two PRs, I think open PRs for um, 
uh, mixed mode unwind tests and uh, something else for uh, compact unwind tables, which he, I think, just opened like about some 10 minutes ago or something. Uh, and uh, and there was, uh, and yeah, I think that's all, but I could be missing out on something, but mostly uh, it's a few months of work that we're all expecting to get merged by this week or mid next week and yeah, super excited and looking forward to that and then we can go ahead and have a release which it's also been a while since the last release very exciting there are definitely languages that we hear about all the time so um finally we'll be able to cover things like python support i think that's very exciting for the ai and machine learning space so yeah um i think that covers all of the um topics that we had on the agenda today is there anything that people would like to talk about other than these topics going once going twice all right then I guess this is going to be a shorter uh, Parka office hours. As always, if you're watching the recording, feel free to drop us a note on Discord. If you have any issues or if you have any questions, um, feel free to join the Parka Discord server. We're always there and active and happy to answer any questions. Um, or if you want to learn how to contribute, um, the project is always happy to welcome new contributors. But yeah, then this is uh, Parker Office Hours, August 29th, and have a wonderful local time. See y'all.